Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, if you notice, that's my uh, clock. That's from my survival watch that came from Wish. I wouldn't say it's a survival watch because it came broke off. These little pins broke off and let go of the clock on the wa watch. So you couldn't really call it survival. It didn't let, even last a day with me, and that's just with uh, regular use. This is the watch that was at the tiny house I brought home because I was going to somehow hook this onto the paracord. I may still do it. And this is solar powered. I got this on my when I went on a cruise on the Carnival cruise ship and that was quite good. And it was $20 for this watch. Though the everything's so cheap nowadays the bands break and but at least the watch is still awesome and it's solar powered so the batteries lasted forever so far. Um, I may just hook this onto my EDC or bug out bag just as a clock and possibly the same with this one or the other if they if it works. I know this one for sure is a good good deal because um, it's solar powered so the battery's not likely to run out but this guy I don't know. It's not, well, I do know it's not solar powered, but I don't know what kind of battery and how long it'll last, etc., etc. But anyway, um, bummer on the survival watch, but I got a refund for it anyway. Since it busted, I took pictures, sent it into Wish. They said, yep, trash. And speaking of Wish, I just got a surprise package in the mail. Oh my god. So. <laughs> I don't know. Wish is pretty crazy. I order stuff, and then to, and then it never comes, and then two months later I get it, and it's already been refunded. So I ordered these. These are bus bars that I ordered off of Wish, and now they're free. Originally they were like five or ten dollars for the whole bunch, and this what this is nice. This is brass, and uh, it'll hold different size wire as you can see there guys and it has plastic mounts already built into this thing so that's pretty awesome so I got one two three four five so any other further expansion projects at the tiny house I'm pretty sure I'm covered and uh, this is all free because it showed up like two or three months later and I'm not um, I'm not sh uh, I'm basically doing everything legit here guys there's no shadiness going on or anything the stuff I order it the stuff does not show up um, so I get a refund and then like two months down the line maybe three this maybe even three or four months down the line I receive packages so and it's already been refunded so it's free so pretty insane so there there you go guys that's why i deal with wish awesome uh policy they have and how what i think what i think it is is why i'm getting everything so late is because they ship everything the slowest method possible and it's really not helping them out so there you go but that's how the company works so there you go. I'm going to just unbox all these because I don't really need the plastic on them. They're not going to rot. It's brass. <laughs> and that is some cool stuff. That's sol That's real brass solid. Wow. Good stuff. So any type of solar projects I got coming up, guys, that's be a negative and a positive bus bar, right? And I got, I guess I'm, I should have ordered six because I'm off one. I'm an odd man out here, so there you go. So, <clears throat> a bunch of plastic to recycle. Other than that, cool stuff, great find. And uh, it came <laughs> super late, guys. I can't believe this. There you go. <laughs>
It's about two days later after the install and we've had a hell of a thunderstorm and water we got water sitting in here and stuff but uh, that's all, all good everything's sealed down and panels aren't moving my brother's here and he's gonna check them out here so good news hey guys Rob from the off-grid tiny house I'll give you the date Friday, September the 28th, and it's um, quarter to 10 in the morning. Get rid of my wallet and keys and stuff. Um, yeah, it's chilly in the tiny house. So, let's give you the readings here. 57 Fahrenheit inside the tiny house at 67% humidity, and it is 68.6 .6 Fahrenheit outside. Um, oh, 68.9 Fahrenheit outside at 47% humidity and I'll switch to Celsius for my European followers here. 13.9 um, Celsius inside the tiny house and 20.5 Celsius outside. Now this is super comfortable for some people but I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and it's I can feel the chill in the tiny house. I'm tempted to to put the fireplace on. Um, today though guys, lots going to go on in the tiny house. Um, right back here, I'm going to attempt to cut a hole th into the tiny house. I believe that is a 7 inch diameter size hole. And uh, if not a 6 inch six or seven inch I'm not sure I didn't tape measure it but I'm gonna try to cut this hole in today so I can mount my cubic mini grizzly wood stove um, piping uh, pellet stove kit here um, right there so I need to do this section here it's the part the two the two metal thimble part that passes through your wall and keeps everything fireproof basically and kind of eager to get this done before the real cold weather hits. Um, so I do have, I'm, I'm going to plan on moving the elliptical back about a foot. And I'm going to clean up some of the stuff from the stove here. And then I'm going to worry about the mounting for the stove after this hole's in. Because I've decided um, the, the pipe's going to be about there. And I think that's a safe height um, from it. It's double insulated, well, it's insulated pipe. So it's not like just a, just a piece of metal. It is insulated. Um, it's pellet stove pipes. So I think we'll be okay. And then if I got to put anything up here and beyond after the fact, I will. Especially when the money comes in. Um, oh. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna turn the heat on Because I want to take this chill off out of here And that way I know everything's working on the stove. It's been quite a while The batteries are probably dead in the receiver the transmission receiver for the remote So I'll have to check that I got to make sure my fans are still working in the stove and of course try it out on the new propane system and hopefully no carbon situation because I know a lot of people have been asking me well is the stove working yet or what's going on well I'm just getting to the stage where yeah I need some heat on and I'm gonna try to get some heat on while I'm working on this so first things first guys I need to go outside and turn the propane tank on outside and then I can light up the fireplace. So I'll see you guys uh, back inside here once that's all done. <laughs> 